Closing day of the 10th International CIFA Forum in Monaco began with a hard look at how to fight against the rapacious power of finance against the real economy. What made the public at large uh, aware it's because the crisis happened. In fact, we're talking about the crisis, but there are two crises. The sub prime crisis, first of all, and the second one, which to a certain extent was initiated by the first one, the debt crisis. There is a growing divergence between those two sectors. Before the crisis in the US, 30% of profits of all American companies were done by banks. They uh, achieve 30% of the global profits of all U.S. Uh, companies, and uh, at the present time, the bank assets are $100,000 billion. We Americans, uh, classically, we're the rivals with the French uh, in terms of what is the strategy for having good market performance. And we Americans are always trying to look, I think, for checks and balances among private actors in the economy that solve problems in the economy sort of automatically, efficiently, without having government regulation. CIFA discussions also pose the question of regulating the power of rating agencies. Experts noted that rating agencies offer an opinion on the probability of default and nothing substitutes for investors doing their own homework, they said. But discredited rating agencies like Standard & Poor's still have much power and influence today. Too many um, investors relied on these uh, ratings without doing their own due diligence over time. Governments became very lazy, not just the U.S. government, but also the state uh, governments became lazy. And uh, throughout uh, various statutes, there were references to um, NRSRO ratings. And the, the problem with it was, of course, this non-transparent, non-formal, unaccountable process. Uh, and so that ultimately culminated in uh, what you saw um, in the financial crisis. Not so much a matter of saying, should we regulate the rating agencies, because they are regulated. They can only be regulated given their importance. The question is, what is the right way to regulate the rating agencies? CIFA's three-day forum, filled with dynamic expert-level analysis and straight talk, ended with a call for global financial markets to facilitate and encourage the movement of liquid funds into the productive sector of the economy, with the sustainable practice of financial intermediation exercised by moral financial markets and individuals. Having gained a consultative status with the UN's Economic and Social Council since 2007, CIFA is planning to bring intervention at the level of the General Assembly. The product of today is going to go first to the thematic debate of the General Assembly, not even ECOSOC. We hope that the summary of the co-chair will contribute to the international effort to secure a sustained, inclusive and equitable recovery of the world economy. Financial intermediaries should complement prudential public regulation by living up to an equivalent of the Hippocratic Oath, which says, I would, could say, I will make recommendations for the good of my clients according to my ability and my judgment and never harm him in any way. I think that is, too, one of those simple points that has to be respected nowadays and that we want to bring to the General Assembly. CIFA has about 700,000 intermediaries. We are representing, uh, I don't know how many, tens of millions of clients. And uh, we have to profile ourselves. We have to come out and to be the third force who expresses the worries, the needs, and the reforms of the system. Moving ahead on its purpose and tradition of raising the bar on moral and ethical conduct, CIFA will hold its 11th annual forum from April 24th through the 26th next year here in the beautiful Principality of Monaco. Afaf Kanja for South South News, reporting from Monaco.